All right, guys, I want to show you a quick fix for a Honeywell thermostat. Uh, my parents had locked uh, with the lock button, and you can see they have it in, they actually had it in off mode, and so it made it uh, so that they couldn't adjust it. So anyways, here's how uh, the quick fix for that. They had forgotten what the code was. You can see here when you click on it, it says enter pin. They didn't know what their code was. I tried the default code of 1234, and that did not work. If you take this unit off on the inside, I'll show you in a minute after I've put the correct code in, you'll see that there's a individual code or unique identifier, four digit pin on each uh, thermostat that's different. So on ours, it was actually one, two, three, four. You can see I wrote it down on a napkin here just for this video. Um, or rather, it was uh, the code that was on the inside was 1924. That's hard printed on the back of the uh, thermostat. So then you add that to 1234, which is a default code in it. And when you add it up, you start on the left hand side 8, 5, 9, and 2 is 11, carry the 1, and then you have 3. So it's 358. And that's exactly what worked on ours. I'll go ahead and show you 3, select. Five, select, oh, I'm at three, one, my bad, back. Uh, here we go, yeah, I'm not very good at this, so okay. Three, one. And five, oops. And then eight. And then select. And now you can see it is unlocked. There's no longer a lock button. And you can see while I was in there, I was able to set the time. They don't have Wi-Fi set up. I'll do that later. So you can add your uh, thing, your thermostat to uh, Wi-Fi. So I think so you can uh, remotely control it. I think you have to install the Lyric app, um, but uh, I'll do a separate video for that, um, maybe. But anyways, so and now here you can see you can change your temperature and up and down. And you can do everything you need to do. I will go ahead and pull this off so you can see where that pin number is. It's hard to pull off with one hand. Okay, you can see this is off. And then you can see right there. Let me focus on it. You can see right there, it's ours is 1924. So it's going to be some four-digit pin. And then you just, again, uh, you go ahead and put it back on. We need to get them a nice trim plate to make this look nicer here, but we'll do that. It'll take a second to boot up. And, you know, uh, since it was unlocked in its last state, it automatically goes to unlocked. Um, but if you need to do it, you just take that four digit pin that you get off the back of your device, you add one, two, three, four to it, and then you add it up. That's three, three, one, five, eight, and that'll give you your, um, that'll give you a one default code that'll allow you to unlock it. So anyways, I hope this helped. Uh, if you have any questions or anything, uh, ask me and I'll do my best to answer. Thank you.